Mixed results by the end of the trading day, but another small threshold crossed by the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The Dow finished up 32 points to close above 20,100. The Nasdaq was down a point to finish at 56.55, and the S&P 500 was down a half a point. Make that a point and a half to end at 22.97. Market analysis tonight. Chris Hagan is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. And he's with us. Hi, Chris. Hi, Mike. So what was uh, motivating investors today? Sure. So after a, a huge day yesterday where the markets were reaching all-time highs and the Dow was over 20,000 points, you can imagine that today was a bit subdued. Um, you know, but we did have a lot to sort through. I mean, we had a lot of earnings all throughout the day and, of course, actually after the close as well. And earnings really varied company by company. There wasn't any real clear trend in terms of sector. So perhaps 2017 will be a year where the stock picker prevails. And uh, maybe it's the year of the actively managed fund. And are you the stock picker guy? Uh, <laughs> I think we, we rely on actively managed mutual fund managers. Um, we definitely overweight segments of the market where we see more opportunity. And that's really how we put together you know, well-balanced, diversified portfolios for our clients. All right, we'll talk about some of those earnings in just a moment. There was one report today I know you were watching closely. New home sales uh, came out today. What did you see on that? That was nationwide. Sure, it just it rounded out the year for, for a strong uh, housing sector. Um, they were down a bit in, uh, in December, but that was after having such a strong November at nine-year highs. So, um, you know, we still see the housing sector as being a bright spot in the economy. If there's any going to be any headwinds, potentially, of course, if, if rates start to go up, mortgage rates could go up in the long term. All right, now back to those earnings. Comcast reported earnings today. In full disclosure, they are the parent company of NBC Universal and NECN, and they had a good quarter. Congratulations. Yeah, your, your dividend you. went up uh, about 15%, and they said they're going to buy back about $5 billion worth of their shares this year. And there was also a two-for-one stock split. I mean, it's such a big company now. There's a lot to digest when you look at the earnings report, but really, really solid all the way around. Everything from NBC Universal to um, sales of, of uh, new, new subscribers getting the cable. Um, so a very strong quarter and a good year for, for Comcast. All right, Caterpillar also reported earnings, and they were down on the day. What happened? there right so we've we've heard a lot of reports about the strengthening of the dollar and that is definitely something that's worrisome for for caterpillar because they are a global firm and when they're selling their goods and services overseas and they've got this stronger dollar it makes it harder to sell so that was one of the things that kept them down a bit and lowered their guidance forward and Sears also reported earnings. They had an even rougher day. Right. So, you know, down about 18% since the election. You know, it was interesting. I read today about uh, Amazon actually now, their market cap is larger than eight of the largest bricks and mortar stores in the country. So if you think about Sears, they're kind of going the other way. They're just bleeding through cash. Now the stock's actually trading below $8 a share. Um, you know, the next thing for them is going to be a downgrade of their, uh, their stock. Very tough times. Very briefly, tomorrow, what are you looking for? So tomorrow we're going to get a look at uh, GDP for, uh, for the quarter. It's going to be the first uh, look at that, and that's something we'll definitely focus on. Chris Hagan of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Mike.